Mesdames et Messieurs, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. Nous reprenons l'audience. The president, we note that the international co-prosecutor would wish to make any comment. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je voudrais revenir un instant sur mon intervention de tout à l'heure, qui, je crois, n'avait pas été complètement traduite, et je voudrais émettre une demande. En ce qui concerne Taiteng, les paragraphes pertinents du procès verbal de transport sur les lieux, c'est-à-dire le document numéro D48-1, ainsi que le as well les, les paragraphes pertinents du procès verbal de confrontation, qui est à la cote D52, puisse être lu euh, à l'audience, puisqu'ils n'ont pas été lus ce matin. Je vous en remercie. Président, What could have been the reason that uh, you did not uh, raise this Pourquoi matter pas, immediately pas when you were given the floor to make your own observation in relation to the statement and that uh, the request only is de made at this témoins. moment? Pourquoi attendez-vous maintenant pour faire cette demande? Euh, tout à l'heure, en fin de matinée, il a été demandé au parti de faire les commentaires sur les deux premiers documents. Et puis, il y a eu interruption pour la pause déjeuner. Et nous pensions que les deux autres documents seraient lus au début d'après-midi et que nous aurions alors l'occasion, ainsi que les autres parties, d'émettre des observations sur les parties pertinentes de ces procès-verbaux de euh, Transport sur les lieux et de confrontation. Merci. Thank you. The President, uh, President, after the record of Miss Pinkry's statement was read out, then the floor was given to the parties to make la parole a été donnée aux parties pour qu'elles puissent uh, faire leurs observations. There was a request that, that the greffier was asked by the defense council or requested by the defense council to read uh, de lire the statement. La déposition. And uh, by doing so, We can reduce the time to make observation in uh, regarding one particular statement and that only after the statements have already been read out uh, that we can make the conclusive comments in relation to the read out statement. So please. Uh, be reminded that uh, the, the process is uh, followed uh, like this because we would like to make sure that the proceedings are moving more expeditiously. But we accept uh, your request uh, and that the greffier is now instructed to read document D48-1 in relation to the portion or paragraphs that related to the testimony of Doi And then document lié à la déposition de Toy Tang and the related qui suivi, portions qui of Toy Tang are advised to be read out also de uh, this morning the prosecutor raised this matter but uh, 
we Les now give the opportunity for the statement to be read out. Faisons trois leurs demandes et nous demandons à ce que ces the documents greffier, document soient lus à présent. La greffière, This document is the record of the interview of the là, uh, record of the procès-verbal de la déposition construction conducted before the court investigating judges of the extraordinary chambers in the court of Cambodia conducted on the 26 of February 2008 at Chung Ek, 15 kilometers to the southwest of Phnom Penh in Kandar province. There were the presence of Mr. Kang Kek and Mr. Kasabot and François Roux. When witnesses Ms. Peng Kri, Hem Hoi, Chun Pao and Toi Teng Paragraph 1. Paragraph During the roll call, the child person stated that he knew only him Hoi among the four witnesses. Chun Pal and Toi Teng stated that they never, he ne they never knew the child person. Paragraph 2. Paragraph Witnesses Chun Pal and Toi Teng stated that they were returning to Chung Ak site for the first time. Paragraph 3.3. Witness Toi Teng confirmed that he was assigned to guarding prisoners and that uh, he was present whenever they arrived. Paragraph 4.2. Witness Tai Teng was somewhat disoriented by the changed surroundings, but he did identify the area where the wooded shacks stood. He stated that the generator was near the boot, which is still in place. According to him, the prisoners did not stay in the house for very long before being executed. He explained that he, he would have a list, list for recording those who arrived and those to be sent away for execution so as to make sure that none of them was lost. He estimated that at any given time there were anywhere between 20 to 30 prisoners, but it was not quite certain about this. Paragraph 5.3. Witness Toi Teng stated that he was having difficulty identifying exact locations because the trees have since grown much taller. Paragraph 5.4. Close to the location where skeletal remains of children were found, the witnesses all stated that they never saw children at Chung Ek. Tai Teng, who indicated that he worked at S21 for five to six months in 1976, correction, in 1978 until the liberation, remembers seeing women and men arriving, but not children. He added that the women and men were executed and buried at the same place. Paragraph 6.3. Witness Toi Teng, le témoin, ton, toi Teng stated that he was not aware of the scene described by him Hoi because he was inside the house. He affirmed he that he did not see Doj, but only Comrade Hoor. It may very well be that Doj came to Chiang Ek without being seen by him but he did not Mais hear anyone say parler. that he did. Paragraph 7.7 7. Tai Teng stated that he was assigned to go to Chiang Ek by Hem Hui, who instructed him, and that uh, his task was to receive incoming prisoners to dig pits and to bury the pits after the prisoners were executed. 
after Après avoir déclaré having announced that uh, the detainees were sent to the pits. He said he was in the house and that he did not fosse, know much about it. He maison. said that the member of the unit was in charge of execution and he accepted that uh, he sometime took charge of the executions. But he explained that this was not a habitual task. After the reenactment, all the participants left the site without incident at 12.15 p.m. without any incidents. An audio and video recording of the reenactment was prepared and copies thereof were sold to the charged person. The original of the report was written in both Khmer and French and was then translated into English. Document D-52. This is the record of the confrontation before the co-investigating judges of the Extraordinary Chambers in the Court of Cambodia on the 28th of February 2008 at 9.50 a.m. The Defend counsel, Mr. Kassavot and François Rouge, uh, the accused, Kang Gek Eo, alias Doj, witnesses him, Hoi, Toi Teng, Chun Pao, Mie, Peng Kri, who already sworn, according to the internal rule of the extraordinary chambers in the court of Cambodia, were present. Confrontation. Question. Confrontation. Question. The day before yesterday, you went to Jing Ek together with us to conduct the reenactment. Do you still maintain or confirm what you already stated earlier? Witness Tai yes, I still confirm that. Question. Among the people who were present here, uh, does anyone of you know anyone here? I knew only Miss Penkri and him. Hoy. I'm not Hoy sure whether I know Deutsch. Question. Is this the first Question. time that you are returning to Jung Ak since 1979? Chun Pal and Toi Teng, yes. Chun Pal Question. Toi Teng, oui. Question. What was your role at Jung Ak? Response, Toi Teng, it is true, Hoi was my chief. Question, Mr. Toi Teng, you said that at Chung Aik, uh, your group was in charge of digging pits and executing prisoners, and you also took part in the executions, although it was not uh, very Often, do you still confirm your statement? Tai Teng, I still confirm my statement the day before yesterday. Question. Question. When we reached the tree used for the execution of the children, every one of you uh, claimed that you never took part in such execution of the children. So do Vous you maintain this? I, I never saw children either. The original of the audiovisual recording was sealed before the charged person and his lawyers and was signed by us, the greffiers, the, the co-prosecutors, the charged person and his lawyers. A copy of the original audiovisual recording was provided to the charged person due to the uh, technical reasons. It was not possible to give a copy of the audiovisual recording to each of the persons taking part in the confrontation, and we provided the witnesses and civil parties with a copy of the written record.
At 5.05 p.m., we had the greffier read aloud this written record of confrontation as recorded. The written record having been read aloud and heard, the charged person had no objection and agreed to sign. The president, after having heard uh, what has already been said out by the greffier in relation to the response of Tai Teng, do the co-prosecutors wish to make any observations? Les co-procureurs souhaitent-ils faire part de leurs observations? Euh, je voudrais Monsieur seulement vous remercier d'avoir donné euh, l'instruction de lire cette partie euh, du procès verbal et nous n'avons pas d'observation à faire. Je vous remercie. Le Président, je m'adresse au convocat des groupes de participants. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I have a request uh, concerning the last document that was read out and uh, related to page fear, uh, four, sorry, page four of this document, where the answer of um, the witness Tai Teng was read out, but it, to understand this answer, um, the Pour comprendre uh, answer le sens de cette réponse, witness him hui, il faut lire la réponse um, de, well uh, du témoin Him Hui, car Tang la réponse de Tai Tang est uh, une référence directe uh, à ce que Him Hui, him hui is on page four, um, avait dit. Il s'agit de la page so 4. Uh, C'est quelque uh, chose qui se trouve à la page 4. Et cela nous permettrait um, de mieux comprendre um, le sens de l'intervention like de M. Témoin Tai Tang. Et j'aimerais que M. Témoin Tai Tang de bien vouloir donner une lecture du document à partir du milieu de la page 4, à savoir en ce qui concerne, etc. The president. Uh, so, uh, on page four, à la page quatre, uh, from uh, in which line uh, could you please help uh, the court? Uh, and how many lines would you wish the court uh, to uh, ask the greffier to read out the related uh, version? Because uh, if it is not clear, then the decision si will not be made uh, precisely. Uh, I tried first uh, with the English version, which is on Alors, page de la four, and um, en anglais, from um, the bottom, it is du bas de la page, uh, the sixth um, paragraph, answer by witness him hui, and then in the English version, starting with regarding my specific role, I've also had of the unit, uh, my uh, to check role, this in Khmer, I would need some time, maybe the Griffey is able to check it. Thank you. On a besoin de donner un petit peu, il faut donner un petit peu de temps au greffier pour qu'il puisse s'y retrouver dans la version en langue Khmer. The president, le président, if the greffier of the trial chamber is now sure where to begin with, then please uh, read uh, the portion as requested. Greffier, question by the co-investigating judges. Oui, what was the role of each of you at Cheng Ai? Answered by witness Him Hui. Regarding my specific role, I was the head of the unit in charge of the transfer of prisoners from S21 to Chengak. Ho designated our group to accomplish this task. Ho ordered me to designate someone to meet and guard the prisoners at Chengak. Tai Teng's group was in charge of that. It was made up of eight persons and had to dig graves and execute the prisoners. 
Answered by witness Thai Thane, Réponse du témoin Thai Thane. C'est exact. Hoi was my Hoi était mon supérieur. Est-ce qu'il y a des questions Est-ce qu'il y a des questions Est-ce qu'il y a des remarques par les lois civiles après que vos requêtes ont déjà été demandées Nous venons de faire euh, euh, donner droit à votre euh, no, demande. Uh, no Réponse de Mathieu, est-ce qu'ils n'ont aucune autre observation de la part des avocats des partis civils Est-ce qu'il y a des questions Défense Council, nous adressons à présent au Conseil de la défense que vous faites valoir des observations s'agissant du passage supplémentaire et aussi de la déposition de Thaïtain en relation à la lecture ainsi que s'agissant de him Hoi. du paragraphe suivant dont on vient de la lecture et concernant le témoin Him Hoi. Si vous souhaitez faire des observations, je vous Mr. Kassabut, thank you, Mr. President. Je vous This Mr. morning I made matin, my observation already that I agreed with Mr. Hong Kong Soon that uh, this witness had uh, made an accurate statement and that he did la, not see the accused uh, pay a visit to Cheng Ek. Uh, it has been clear already that uh, none of the witnesses saw the accused uh, go to Cheng Ek and that's all, vu, uh, Mr. President, uh, I'm grateful. The president, uh, the accused, uh, would you wish to make any further observation in relation to the additional statements in the record of the confrontation and the reenactment regarding Thai Ting? Dont on vient de donner lecture s'agissant du rap du procès verbal du transport. Uh, à Cheng Ek et Look, the, de la confrontation. The accused, uh, Mr. President. I Donc, don't have any further observation at the moment. Mr. President, je n'ai aucune observation complémentaire à faire pour l'heure. Monsieur le Président, the President, next, Mr. Dutch Paris is now instructed to read. Paris. Allowed uh, the de record lire of the interview of le procès verbal d'audition du Iem. témoin M. Ron Iem. Il s'agit du document qui figure à la cote D28 barre de fraction 5. Le greffier, document D28 slash 5. This is the written record of the interview of witness Hong Yim, alias Meng, born in 1953. This written record was made on the 29th November 2007 at 8 10 a.m. by the investigators of the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges of the Extraordinary Chambers in the Courts of Cambodia. Question. Question. Could you describe your background before 1975? Response. I would like to say that I was separated from my mother. I joined the army in Regiment 112 of Division 703 in 1975 with Danat as commander. After the liberation of Phnom Penh in 1975, I was in Regiment 112, and later a new regiment, Regiment 142, was formed with Karin Ellis as commander. At that time, they had me do rice production, and I plowed the rice paddy at home by home. They said that I failed to do a good job, and later they had me do cooking for them. And three months later, they had me prepare my biography in Regiment 17, Division 703, which was opposite the Monibong Hospital, 
I spent three days for biography recording. I did not know how much. I did not know much about the person who recorded my biography. Then they had me guard at the precise of school, i.e. to guard the senior cadres who were learning there. But I did not know what they learned. I was removed after spending one month there. They had me go to guard at the prison outside. It was Dampain Prison, next to Sad May, adjoining the fence of Moribong Hospital with small and big cells and surrounded by iron bars. Et des barres de protection faites tout autour. During the Five Year War, they wrote on the wall in fresh blood. On a écrit. Dampain is for resistance who were imprisoned. They painted a bright red heart and the name Dampain. Le nom d'un combattant prisonnier. Those were painted and written on the outside surface. I did not see those with my eyes, but the people inside told me. I heard people saying that the chief there was the same person, Lodge. I spent about three months there, and it was about the 17th of April, 1975. I got it there until 1976. Then the prison was moved. They had me moved, and the prisoners were all transferred earlier. The prisoners were blindfolded and handcuffed when they were transferred by trucks. In the next morning, after the transfer of all prisoners, they had us all moved. When we arrived at Dulslein, we did not see those prisoners. We wondered and asked ourselves if the prisoners disappeared. Then the group chief said that you got just do your job as God. À ce moment-là, le chef du groupe nous a dit :« Vous autres, les gardiens, occupez-vous de montrer la garde. » Trois jours après, ils ont été transférés. 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 Trois jours après, ils one month. Sometimes I got it inside, and sometimes I outside of the fence. There were twelve guards in one platoon, and there were four guards in one group. My group chief named Chamron, and later he was arrested. And later the group chief Sok was also arrested. I did not know the reason for Chamron's arrest, but Chamron said that when he was on duty. He kept advising his subordinates that, as a guard, we need to exercise our best effort to prevent the prisoners from committing suicide. So was a deputy group chief, and later on, he was promoted to be group chief, and later he was arrested at about 12 a.m., and I did not know the reason for his arrest. While I got it inside, when the new prisoners arrived, they asked me, Ta, do you have any free room? If the room was available, I was the one who took the prisoners to put them in the room, untied and untied the blindfold. Checked them up and then took up the handcuffs. I observed that some prisoners with a big beard had both legs shackled. Avec les deux pieds mis au fer. And told the prisoners to tell me when they needed to urinate or defecate, or when they were thirsty. There were small cells on the first or ground floor. On a daily basis, there was a guard to take his shift at meal times. And when it was my turn, I came back on duty. One shift was in the morning and another in the afternoon. There were the same shifts at night. I had to take two shifts, one in daytime and one at night. How did they feed the prisoners? Response. 
Question, comment faisait-on pour les prisonniers prisoners réponse cook the rice, les, les prisonniers, raise the pigs, les j'ai été employés à la cuisine, élevé les trucks, based on the skills. Les véhicules, Questioned. les camions, what about the prisoners inside? Response. Question, they brought them two meals a day, réponse, and apporté, there was one du plate du of rice and fois, one bowl of soup a day, a une meal. De riz et une de I soup. did not know whether it was enough si because it was set a ration. Je ne pas si Question, ou non and un what about their health? Déterminé. Response, Question, et some prisoners santé. got réponse. cut on the back. And it had read it after the interrogation. Some were dead in the cell after returning. Some were emaciated. There were both male and female prisoners, but I never saw children in my place. Question. Based on your observation, in what year did you see the most prisoners arrive? In what year did you see the most prisoners arrive? It was in 1977, 1978. I saw that when I was guarding, but I never asked about anything. When it was time to bring out the prisoners, the outsiders handed me the key to unlock the door and deliver the prisoners to them. I did not know whether they were brought for interrogation or where was their destination. Question. As you are illiterate, how did you remember the prisoners to be brought away? Response. For instance, they told to take the prisoner from the small cell or big cell. There was only one prisoner in one small cell, but there were more prisoners in the big cell. But no mistake was made because the prisoners were taken based on his or her identity number. Question, who was the interrogator you were working with the most often? Response, as the inside guard, I did not know that. When they came to take the prisoners, they contacted the guards at the entrance, and those guards brought me the keys. The entrance guard named King, later King, was also arrested under the allegation that he had connection with some and Jamran. Question. Contact avec Sankh were there many prisoners who were brought out and who never returned? Y avait-il beaucoup de prisonniers qui étaient emmenés et qui Response. ne revenaient jamais There were many of Réponse. those who never returned, and most of them were the emaciated prisoners. Déjà en mauvaise condition visible, and there maigres. were also many new prisoner arrivals. Il Question. Y de nouveaux prisonniers was qui arrivaient en there important. any prisoner who died when Question. he or she was shackled? Response. I saw the prisoners dying every day as a consequence of severe injuries after the interrogation. Sometimes two prisoners died per day, about one month after the arrest of King. They placed me to get outside of the prison fence. Pour que je garde à de la After spending de la one week there, semaine, I fell asleep on duty, la garde, and my head leaned over onto the barbed wire. Then my superior, Payne, arrived arrivé, and pushed me further uh, into the barbed wire. Il de he said that I was, that I was probably from the same street as the enemy. I said to him that, brother, I am very sleepy. Then he advised to come down and take a bath, and he guided it for me. After having a bath, I came to take up my duty, and he said that I should be careful, and that if I continue to fall asleep, I would be in danger. The inside guards heard that and asked me what happened there. I told him that rather pay right when I fell asleep on duty. The inside cat said to be careful with that. Then I stopped talking to him because I was afraid that my group chief would hear. Once week later, I was arrested and cuffed, blindfolded, chained, and was the only inmate in one room in the central building. And they had a small boy guard me. 
the one who arrested me was from the arrest unit. His name is Hui. He was a subordinate who acted under the orders from his upper echelon. They chained me and I was not allowed to talk. I did not know the reason of my arrest and they deprived me of rice and water for one week. The young guard, who named Hei, Elis Chok, and he was from Kampung Chnang, from Rolyab district, and he sneaked away from his superior's presence and asked me if I was thirsty. I told him, let you, please watch out for your personal safety. Let me become a grandfather. Then he handed me a bowl of drinking water and then inserted a piece of cloth into my cell. He had me drink the water dropping from the cloth in order to leave no trace, and he told me not to tell anyone that he had given me drinking water. If they asked me I was, if I was thirsty, and if they found out that he had given me drinking water, both of us would be killed. Two days later, he sneaked up nearby and brought me some rice in a plastic bag. He told me to eat rice while lying down, and I also thanked that guard. The next morning, they brought and asked me if I knew about my mistake. I replied that I did not know anything. The last few days, I had fallen asleep on duty, but it was not on purpose, because I was sleeping. So he was the one who asked me, and he was also arrested. Mais c'est ce truc-là qui a aussi été arrêté. Did you know anything other than falling asleep? He asked me. I replied that I only knew how to guard and perform my duty when it was my turn. I ate rice when it was time for meals. They warned me not to do that again, and then I was released. Ils m'ont prévenu de ne pas recommencer. Ensuite. Did you have any problem later on? Question. Have you had other problems? After that, they had me guard outside of the zinc wall at all times. I saw them walking the prisoners in during the night, and they were handcuffed and blindfolded. I saw that every month with an unlimited number, but I did not know where they were brought to. I saw the big chief brother Ho and Hoi at prison, and that Dutch was also there. That Dutch was always there, and when the prisoners were brought out at night, he stood outside at the corner of the street to observe. He told the truck driver that that we should know the number of prisoners. Quand on emmène les prisonniers, il faut en connaître le nombre. J'ai entendu Dutch dire cela au chauffeur pendant que je montais la garde à l'extérieur. Quand les camions partaient, une fois les camions partis, les grands chefs rentraient à leur domicile. Quand les prisonniers sur le camion de transport des prisonniers avec une autre voiture, quand on emmenait les prisonniers à l'intérieur, il y avait une unité spéciale qui les accompagnait à l'intérieur. Pour les membres de la spéciale unité, including Hui Dao, cette unité spéciale était composée de Hui Dao et Hui Dao. Quand on emmenait les prisonniers à l'entrée, ceux-ci avaient été menottés et des surbandés. Women and men, and I did not see any foreign prisoner besides the Yuan. The Yuan prisoners were in the Vietnamese army uniform, with caps, they were handcuffed and were blindfolded. Sometimes I saw three or five at a time, but in total there were approximately hundreds of them. I saw the interrogator brought the prisoners for interrogation, and some prisoners got injuries when they were brought. Questions? Did you ever see a pregnant prisoner? Response? Yes, but I never saw children. 
Mais je n'ai jamais vu d'enfant. When she was due to deliver, she le told the cat that she was about to give a birth, and then the inside cat informed the outside cat, who in turn called the medic to get her for delivery. It was rather often that I saw a female prisoner delivering a baby. Question: Were female prisoners detained separately? Response, the female prisoners were detained separately in a big room. They chained a pregnant prisoner by her ankle. A female prisoner was shackled if she tried to create a problem with a guard. Question, how did the prisoner take a bath, change their clothes or defecate? Response, the guards, including myself, handed over the water hose to the male prisoners so that they could take a bath, take off their clothes, and change their clothes by themselves without taking off their shackles. They hit the prisoners' defecate into the ammo cases in their cells, and they hit the light prisoners to light them once a day. They took off the chains from their female prisoners and had them walk to a separate room. They changed their clothes by themselves. At that time, I kept my eye on them because I was afraid that the prisoners would hang themselves and commit suicide. Question. Talking about organizational structure, what was Peng's title? Peng, who pushed your head? Response. Pain was in a regiment under Ho and Duc. was a chairman, and Ho was deputy chairman. I did not know about the backgrounds of Ho and Pain. Question. You said that Ho was in the special unit. What was that special unit? Response. The role of the special unit was to arrest. The special unit also went out and arrested people from outside, that is, from the provinces or cooperatives. Hui Toh was in the special unit, but I did know. I did not know who other supervisors, superior, superiors were. Question at S21. What was its division into units? Response. Unit 22 was the guard unit. Unit 21 was the interrogator's unit, and then they created rice farming units, including Hui Tom, who had a different numeric code, and I did not know about anything besides this. Question, when you were guarding inside, did you ever see Dutch walking around and looking about? Response, I saw Dutch walking around and looking, but I never talked to him. Dutch made with pain when a mistake was spotted. Question, did you ever see Dutch at a different place? Response, I saw Dutch twice at the education sessions, that is, when I attended a political class. They taught us about our country and about how to reconstruct our country in through socialism. That is, rice production shall be 3 to 7 tons per hectare of land, and as we all are workers, we should work as hard as the rice farmers. They introduced a slogan which reads, diminish the enemy, our parents, were also enemies, and they were to be eliminated, and only the good people could be parents. In the education session that I attended, I only saw Peng and Duc, but other people attending at the sessions said that Pol Pot, Kiu Sampon and Nun Chi were also present and teaching. I heard the students talking about that when they left their class and when I was on my guarding duty. They displayed the photos of Nun Chi, Kiel Sampot and Pol Pot with captions right below. 
Question. Um, Talking about management, Question. did Doge Parlons have good relationship with Ho? I did not know what happened. They arrested Ho at home and let her Ho was also arrested and taken out. I saw them walking Ho for interrogation. Question. Question. Was the appointment of staff made by Doge or another person? Qui, qui de I did not que know that. I just knew that he Réponse, was a supervisor and he never imposed any disciplinary action against me. Based on my recollection, the rules at S21 was that the guard's role is only to guard refrains from mingling with another person's business and refrains from talking to other people. Question. Were there any disciplinary action against a guard for taking a nap? Response. Yes, there were. They were arrested from every unit, including the guard unit, the interrogator unit, and the special unit. There were many of them, and they were taken to be detained in the same prison. Question, did you ever see Dutch inflicting torture? Response, I never saw that. Question, do you know any other former staff of S21? Response, Réponse. I saw Tian Samrai, who is Samrai, still alive. Qui est vivant. In the last few years, I met him when I went to do a business in Tasta in the border. He held a rather superior Sa rank. He was with that dude. He was also arrested and detained in the same prison. prison. He was white and rather short man. When they walked him, Quand I knew his face very well. Medic Ho was arrested, le but I did not know whether Medic Seung was arrested, nor Medic Dawn is still alive. There was Chen, who was the messenger, but I did not know whether or not he is alive, nor about his birthplace. He was a white and rather thin man. Question, where were you at the time when the Vietnamese troops were entering? Response, it was not the time for my guard duty that day. We ran to the west when we heard the gunshots, and we spent two months to reach Thailand. And we returned to our homeland thanks to the repatriation before UNTAC election. One copy of the written record was provided to this witness. After being read aloud, the witness had no objections and agreed to sign. Celui-ci a confirmé et a signé. The president, after president. hearing the testimony of this witness, Ian Horn, do the co-prosecutors have any comments or observations to make? Co-prosecutor. Mr. President, the prosecution does not ha have any observations to make regarding this statement. Questions, the civil party lawyers, do you have any observations to make regarding the statement of E.M. Horn as read out by the graph here? Soon. Thank you, Mr. President. The civil party lawyers do not have any observations to make regarding this statement. Thank you. Questions. The defense counsel, do you have any observations to make regarding this statement? Thank you, Mr. President. The defense counsel do not have any comments or observations to make. The chamber now gives the opportunity to the accused 
to make his observation regarding the content of this statement of witness Im Hon as read out by the graph here. The statement was provided to the investigators of the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges, document D28-5. The accused, Mr. President, before I make my observation regarding Im Hon's statement, I would like to make correction to my word. The S21 conference when Son Sen attended was held on the 27th, not the 14th of April, as I uh, said this morning. And now I would like to make my observations regarding the statement of Im Hon. First, The person was from Prekrosa, and from people I asked, it was about two and a half kilometers from Takmau. It was in Svairolum quarter. So this person said he joined the army. I had a suspicion then because at that time they would not recruit the displaced people to be part of the army. Secondly, I do not want to talk in details about the PJ prison because it was dismantled, but in testimony it's a bit peculiar. The point is that this Imhon, alias Meng, said Peng was arrested and prisoned with the order from the upper echelon, that is from me, because of falling asleep during guarding duty. And that later on, he also said he was released. And that was my third observation of his testimony. He also said, Comrade Tui, an interrogation cadre of mine, was arrested, and Ho, my deputy, was also arrested. And Pon, the interrogator, whom I trusted the most, was also arrested. In conclusion, the testimony of Im Hon was similar to the testimony of KW31. It made me suspicious that this person is not a member of the S21 staff. And this is a conclusion of my observations, Mr. President. Voilà la conclusion à laquelle j'aboutis, Monsieur le Président. Merci. But already, the president, the time is the now 4 p.m. And the reading of uh, a statement needs at least half an hour, up to an hour, in addition to the observations by the parties to the proceeding. And we only have 15 minutes for this afternoon session, so it's not uh, going to be worthwhile to read another statement. The chamber therefore decides to adjourn this afternoon's proceeding and it will resume tomorrow morning starting at 9 a.m. Tomorrow also the chamber will hear a testimony of witness KW29 
And for the remaining time, the chamber will have the statements of or the records of the interviews of those witnesses whom were decided not to be summoned by the chamber to be read. So it's likely the statements would be read out in the afternoon session. Security guard takes the accused back to the detention facility and bring him back before 9 a.m. The hearing is now adjourned. All rise, says the graphic.